and welcome. I'm John Kias, team leader for the ITOM product marketing team responsible for network operations management and operations bridge. Today, we're going to do a demo around how our network operations management solution works with Ansible. So let's get started. From NOM, let's log into network automation, the automation and compliance component of the network operations management solution. Before we run an Ansible playbook, let's take a look at the admin capabilities that allows us to run Ansible playbooks. We're going to navigate to the server settings and scroll down to our scripting language section. And here we see under advanced scripting, where we list the various scripting language interpreters. We've got expect, Perl, Python, Bash, and finally Ansible playbook. We see that Ansible is just another scripting language, and this allows scripts to be built from multiple sources depending on expertise. So you don't have to be an expert in Ansible if you're already great in Python, or you can simply rely on the native capabilities of network automation to update devices across vendors and networks. But Ansible does have an amazing set of community content that many engineers feel comfortable using. Before we can run an Ansible playbook from network automation, here's an important piece of functionality we deliver, inventory. We navigate to inventory, and here we see a listing of the inventory maintained by network automation. And we click on a device to navigate to the device grouping structure. We click on groups and then run a bit of a command line. This is going to run an API script that provides Ansible with real-time inventory sync. This is a really important step as it allows Ansible to have the latest data whether the changes were made five minutes or five seconds prior to running the inventory using network automation's real-time change monitoring. From here, we'll clear that putty window and take a quick peek at the Ansible config file where we see the inventory listed in the proper directory. Now we're ready to run that playbook. Here we're at the homepage, which is also a great place to get reporting and check for recent changes in network automation. We'll click on the left side on list demo change plans. Change plans is our UI based capability for implementing change within network. And we'll select a simple script called banner login set dash Ansible playbook. We'll need to select a target, in this case, an IP address that belongs to the NOM Cisco group. Then we'll jump down to take a look at the actual Ansible playbook. As we open the playbook script, we see the definition section first with the assigned variables, followed by the tasks, where it's just going to configure a login header to the Cisco device, wrapped up by a handler that will display the output from the change plan. Now we'll fire off the tasks to deploy the change plan with the Ansible script. And we see the results details from the playbook. We've got the name of the play, the task, the handler running to display the output for the play, the actual command to create a login banner, and the Ansible play recap showing successful completion. And then we can see the login banner with a show run command from the command line and confirm that our login banner is now set. Finally, we highlight the task in network automation that ran the playbook was successful. And if we look at the UI below that says successful snapshot taken, here's where we can see the power of network automation. We can view the entire device configuration or simply list the specific changes that were made. And that's great for any changes that are made on your network and your network devices. And that's it for the demo. And while this was a simple task, if we were to think about a complex task that needed analysis done, such as OS version, existing config or changes made across multiple types of devices that needed specific timing, you could clearly see where network automation would be a huge advantage in conjunction with the user created content from Ansible. Truly better together. That's it for this demo. I'm John Kias and from all of us here at Microfocus, thank you.